Well, welcome back. He's a quadruple threat actor, producer, writer, and film director known for his very funny roles in films such as White Chicks, Scary Movie, and his popular stand-up specials. And he's back in Houston to deliver the laughs as part of his microphone theme tour. Let's welcome back to the studio comedy legend Marlon Wayans. Damn, legend. Woo! <laughs> Too young looking you, in the face to be a legend. You like that intro, huh? I hey. like it. That was a, I, I didn't realize how much work I've done. <laughs> I've done a lot of work. You've like, done a lot of work. I've been working for a long time. And that's a good thing, man. It's a real good thing. It's crazy when you're like, oh my God, scary movie, white chicks, don't be missed. Like, yo, scary, and white chicks just celebrated its 18th birthday. That is amazing. And we look great. We still look like babies. Yes, but. yes. Listen, you were last here in 2019, so I'm glad we didn't totally mess it up when we were here when you were here the first time. Thanks for coming back. Anytime. We appreciate <laughs> it. Look, we got a little throwback video. Oh, look at that. My hair is totally a different color, but you know, it's all good. My hair looks exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, we had a little thing called the pandemic since yes. uh, since you were on. But my beard got longer. See a little that? bit, yeah. yeah filled it a little bit. Yeah, man, I finally hit puberty. <laughs> How did you survive the pandemic? I mean, was it like, were you baking banana bread? What'd you do? Um, I got to do something that I, I didn't get to do for a long time. Sleep. Chill. Hang out with my kids. Yeah. Go barbecue and cook over their house and hang out and have great conversations with their mom and really bond as a, as a family and sleep. Right. And uh, I, I got to put together a grill and uh, yeah, and read Ikea furniture directions <laughs> and do things that, you know, I didn't have time to do. Exactly. It was I a know. good time. I, it's, in, in spite of all that was bad, I always found some good in it. That is so awesome. And I know you're a proud dad. I know yes. that you love to talk about your children. Yes. And happy Pride, by the way. Thank you. Um, and I know that, listen, 2020 well, thank, was. My, for my daughter. For you, your daughter. Yeah. Right. Um, 2020, <laughs> I know, was. You said happy Pride to me. I was well, like, happy Pride. Pride, no, no, but my daughter, yes, yeah. I celebrate. We actually, last year, we, I, I bought us all Pride shirt, pride sweaters, and we we, we rocked them, and it was cool. I mean, I'm, I think it's important that not only just to be, you know, to celebrate, like, Pride, but just, you know, celebrate people for, their, for, for them and their individuality. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, people got to feel comfortable in their skin, and they got to be loved. And I think everybody should work toward being transparent about who they ultimately are and be brave enough to be who you are and just know that people that love you are gonna love you. And so I'm me, I'm, I've never been married. You gotta love me for me being me. Right, you know? right. And I think it's, it's so lovely to, to have celebrities stat, stat, you know, status like you to be Absolutely. able to tell that story and Absolutely. say it's okay to love everyone where they're at. It's so great to see my daughter happy. Yeah. I don't care what uh, they, tell me the pronoun, they feel like they wanted, I just want you to smile from the yeah. inside out every day. That's all I want. That's why I do stand-up comedy. I just want to make people laugh about their differences, exploring that through my own lens and my own self and my own experience. Right. And you know, there's some, laughter is so good for the soul. You know this. You've been, you know, promoting this your entire career. But for people to come in and see your shows, watch your movies, to exhale whatever they're dealing with in their life in that moment, to exhale, to laugh, to not worry about it is so important. You're a healer. You're, I'm a deliverer of smiles. Yeah. And that's my angelic duty is to deliver people smiles on your worst day. It's like if you're having a bad day, you come to my show, I'm not going to change your life, but I'm going to change your mood. You're going to leave that show feeling better than you did when you walked in. If you were happy, then you leave my show and you're going to be happier than you than you were when you when you came to the show. I love that. So I'm going to be at the... That's right. Uh, uh, Bayou Music Bayou Center. Bayou Music Center. The Bayou Music Center tonight at... Uh, 7.30. 7.30. Doors open. Get your tickets. Hurry up at uh, MarlonWayansOfficial.com or LiveNation.com. And I'm going to be in San Antonio tomorrow night at the Aztec Theater in San Antonio. But tonight, Bayou Music Center. Yes. Come on through. Get these laughs. And after, when I leave, 
Go see Damon. He's at the Houston Improv. Yeah, I know. Brothers in town. Yeah. I love that. Hey, listen, 2020 was really great for you, too. Yeah. I mean, we got to talk about everything you did. You starred in Sofia Coppola's movie On the Rocks opposite Rashida Jones and Bill Murray, most least recently seen as Ted White in MGM's Aretha Franklin's biopic Respect. What was that like for you? Yeah, it was great. I love doing drama. I love yeah. Because I can do characters, right? So when I'm doing a drama, I, I know how to dip into a character and give them a, a portrayal it in, a, in, a, in a, a real way. So I really enjoyed doing drama. I enjoyed doing romance. I'm looking forward to doing action. And, you know, these are my best years. The first 30, I, I learned to, you know, be extremely funny. Right. And now these next 25, 30 years, I'm going to get the girl. It's so awesome. Yeah. It's so awesome kind of honing that craft. Yep. Hey, we had a, a co-star of yours on the show earlier this week, Priya Ferguson from Stranger Things. Oh, look, Priya, what you doing out here? Yeah. Take your little behind the school. <laughs> yeah, she's in uh, my movie. Uh, we co-star in um, a movie call, that I produced and uh, comes out Halloween. It's called The L Curse of Bridge Hollow. Mm -hmm. And uh, that comes out this Halloween. It's a father and daughter that uh, have to save the world because the Halloween decorations all come to life. And it's a really funny, sweet movie. And, I love uh, it. It's going to be on Netflix in uh, September. She was, she was real excited about it, too. She was she was super sweet. It was great to have her here. Let me talk about your HBO Max comedy special. It was released. Which one? I got two. Okay. I have You Know What It Is, which was my stand-up comedy special. And then I did a com comedy stand-up special that I did with my, my buddies. With your buds. All my buddies. And uh, it's called... Uh, uh, headliners and basically they, all these guys opened up for me when I first started doing stand-up comedy I met this group of guys and um, they was like what the hell Marlon Wayne is doing here <laughs> he fell off he must be on crack <laughs> <laughs> and I was just learning stand-up from the, from the bottom up. Right. So they all came up with me, and, uh, and then they opened for me, a lot of them. And so I wanted to open for them and make them the headliners and make them the stars. And so I made us all wear suits and dope sneakers, and we p all put out great performances. D.C. Irvin. I he's right it. here. D.C., come say hi to the people. Oh, hey, D.C. Come to D.C. Oh, he's like, I'm in a T-shirt. Oh, so oh. am I. You too cute? That's your problem. <laughs> you got to come get these, come get this love. Let these people know you. He's gonna, so they can go. buy a here ticket go, to your DC. show. DC. DC Irvin, What's he's that? opening for me, and uh, he he went from headlining, he's back to opening for me. All right. <laughs> well, it's so great because you, I love this because you talk about fatherhood, fear, dating, disappointment, and adult orthodonture. That yes. adult braces. Yes. That, that, Are you doing adult braces? No, that's in the special. That's what they all talk about. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm good. My teeth good. Me, I was going to no. say. At this point, I'm 49. If I got crooked teeth, they just going to be crooked. This is, I ain't going to spend two years of my life with my mouth hurting to try to be cute in my ugliest years. With no, the, I'm good. With the headgear? You no, bring I ain't the headgear back? Doing all that. <laughs> okay, listen, tonight, Bayou Music Center, the show starts at 7.30, doors opening at 6, and tickets start at 30 bucks. 30 bucks, people. Come on. You that's a steal. Also, What's wrong with these it's people? It's a steal. Raise them ticket prices. <laughs> oh, forget it. Ticket prices are higher now after that. HoustonLife.tv <laughs> is where to get it over as well. It's seen on Houston Life section of our website. Thanks for coming in again. We appreciate it. Thank you for it. having me. Love uh, catching up with you. Thank you. Anytime. Welcome appreciate back to H-Town. Uh, Houstonians, right. come on through. Yes, they're coming.